remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? New York police is investigating an incident where an Asian subway strap holder was sprayed with what appeared to be Febreze by another subway rider. Dude in the video is really hot about the Asian guy standing next to him. Tells him to move, move, move. So a lady off camera says, why does he have to move? And dude says, because he's fucking standing next to me. Dude is freaking out because he thinks that he's going to catch the coronavirus by being in close proximity to Asians. The Asian dude in a second video that was posted on Facebook approaches the guy and asks him, why can I sit next to you? And the dude just keeps going off saying, you better move, you better move. I don't want to fight you. You better move, move, move. He's serious. Move. He's afraid that he's going to catch the coronavirus from the Asian guy. Now, I ain't going to front. I thought about it myself. But here's the deal. And the reason why I thought about it, of course, is because China, Asia, is the epic center of the coronavirus. And so, you know, it is going to cause you to be a little fearful. In fact, all over the country and other parts of the world, uh, Asian businesses are struggling, especially their restaurants. Uh, it was reported that there were some restaurants that, that has seen an 80% drop in revenue. And can you imagine what an 80% drop in revenue would do to you? Whether you own a business or whether you had a job, think about losing 80% of your income. That is the effect, the toll, that the coronavirus has had on some Asian businesses. The coronavirus got everybody freaking out. Even Vice President Mike Pence is now greeting folks with elbow bumps. <laughs> the dude was in Tacoma, Washington, shortly after Air Force Two landed on the tarmac, and he was waiting to greet Washington State Governor Jay Inslee. Jay Inslee gave Mike Pence the elbow bump instead of a handshake. And Mike Pence reciprocated it and then began to greet all of the other state officials that was waiting in line to meet him with an elbow bump. The guy in the video is really concerned that he's going to catch the coronavirus. The problem with that is that there hasn't been one confirmed case of an Asian person carrying the coronavirus in New York City. Not one single case. And I know some people are saying, well, that doesn't mean anything. I mean, you don't want to be the first. Gotcha. This kind of reminds me of the AIDS epidemic, how people didn't have the right information. For, Febreze is not going to stop. It's not going to protect you from the coronavirus. <laughs> you got to have information. You, you just got to have the right information to protect yourself. <laughs> Some people are running around here with these masks on. Most of the masks that they are wearing is not going to help them or save them from the coronavirus. This dude has to understand that if you want to protect yourself from the coronavirus, the best thing that you can do is wash your hands frequently and 
Avoid people who are sick, who you know to be sick. Avoid people who are coughing and sneezing. To my knowledge, nobody reported that this dude was coughing or sneezing. Uh, nobody reported that he and the guy who confronted him had some type of relationship, whereas this guy would know his, uh, his health condition. So this just seems like a bunch of ignorance to me. And we got to stop that. When you see something, say something. I'm glad the woman who spoke off camera said something. You got to be brave to stick your nose in folks' business in New York City on the subway because they got a bunch of crazies on that subway. But that was the right thing to do. What the black guy did to the Asian guy is no different than what some whites have done to blacks over the course of history in this nation. Ooh, that's a black person. Let me move out of the way, move my children before we get dirty. Ooh, they black. I don't want to eat at the same restaurant. I might get sick. See where I'm going? Now, having said that, what the black guy did to the Asian guy is no different than what some Asians have done and do to blacks when they patronize their beauty salons, beauty supply stores, and restaurants and are treated less than or are followed around like they're going to steal something based on strictly their complexion. We gotta do better. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.